Shalom Yasharala, this is Yeshaya with a quick car chronicle. On this one, I wanted to talk about 2 Timothy 2 and 4. I'm also in traffic, so bear with me. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. Why do I read that scripture? You know, because as, as, as a lot of brothers often refer to, to me as elder um, the fact of the matter is it, it hasn't been easy to even get to the point where brothers call me an elder and I, I if y'all notice I don't never like you, you, you don't get no I don't mandate nobody calling me elder in fact I've tried to discourage it right but one thing I can say as a as supposedly an elder is that in the years that I've been in this thing, I've been in this truth for about 23 years. About 23 years. And what I can tell y'all that has kept me in this truth is that nothing, nothing distracts me from this truth. At the end of the day, I could do a fucking rap song. I could do a rap video. I could dress fly. I could do a, a ton of things that are not directly related to the truth. But nothing at all makes me forget about the truth. In fact, everything that I'm trying to do enhances my thought process for this truth. I'm going to explain. I'm right now, I'm, I'm trying to buy a house. Now, a lot of brothers say, oh, well, why buy a house, you know, in this kingdom that's falling, right? I would like to own something, at least if it's this version of own, while I'm here, right? Why why, why do I work hard every, every day, get up out of bed, ass crack of dawn, if not to work towards something, right? I would like to not live in the hood even if, it, even if a week later, you know, thermonuclear destruction happens, right? We know that the end is coming. But the thoughts of buying a house also, I also get hit with the thoughts of, you know, this is not the version of quote unquote buying a house that we would have had in the kingdom. You know, in the kingdom, I'm not buying a house. A house is being built for me, right? If I buy a house, who's to say the previous owner wasn't the fucking, the watcher or the previous owner wasn't a fucking pedophile. So now I have the souls of little children in the fucking house. And I didn't even know. I was just buying, in my mind, I'm just buying a house. But the spirituality of it, it's something that my mind is open to because of that. You know, and it's very important to have that understanding, you know, that everything is spiritual. One thing that, that the brother uh, Chief Gabar always said, it's all spiritual. You know, we used to, you know, joke with him about him saying that all the time, but it really is all spiritual. It really is all spiritual. Everything has a spirit and a vibration to it. And when you understand that, that's what makes you last in the truth. I can buy nice clothes. I could buy a house. I could buy a nice car. I could ride around in a Mercedes. I mean, I can't. I don't have the money for it, but I could do a lot of nice things with, with money, right? But at the end of the day, what's the main focus? The main focus is being in the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. That's the main focus. That's what the goal is. Is to is to the ultimate goal is to obtain salvation. But the goal for the time being, while I'm trying trying and striving, is to live my life correctly and to do things the right way. 
you know, and 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 I, I I'd like to think that I've never lost focus of it. You 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 maintain your focus no matter what happens. I'd like to think that if I got a record contract when I was a rapper, I would have still been in the truth. I'd like to think that if the Lord would have made all my dreams come true, I'd still be in the truth. You know, and, and a lot of times you live with that. You live with that motivation because because uh, that's what it is like, you know, I, I don't know about y'all. I can't speak for everybody that's made it to a certain amount of years in this truth. I, I, I find motivation all the time. Like there's no there's no motivation. Like like the as much as things try to separate me from the truth. It doesn't. It doesn't, you know, like right now I have a job that prevents me many Saturdays from making it to camp, you know, but what, what, what am I doing? I'm still in the faith. The focus is still trying to get to camp. And now because it's become more difficult lately, my focus is now look for something else. Look for something else. But nothing tells me, oh, the truth is interchangeable or I can I can do something. No, there's no other career choice. I <sighs> see I don't fucking sleep. There's no other career choice. No other thing that's going to prevent me, you know, or, or distract me from the truth. I, I'd like to think as long as the Lord has, you know, has a hold of me and, and, and controls my, my actions, I believe that the Lord is going to always keep me in this faith. And there's nothing that's going to separate it. I think a lot of times we get caught up in, in shit, you know, you, you got men out there that, that have rap con. You, you know how many fucking rappers and football players are actually Israelites in the truth? But they, they just don't, uh, you don't know because you can't know because then if, you know, it'll fuck them up. So they do what they can from their perspective for this truth. But anyway, with that, I've, I've gotten to my destination. Uh, I'm going to just say Shalom. And, you know, again, what I wanted to tell y'all is don't ever let nothing separate y'all from the truth. This truth is the truth. You know, and, and uh, all praises to Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai. You know, um, when that time comes, we're, we're, we'll still be here and we'll be greeted as friends uh, by the Lord. But with that, I'm going to say Shalom.